Lost in the city of Torrance. Both were cranes in the city of Torrance. As there's weather information for Southern California, available on flight service frequencies. Advisors contact you have information in India. Terrain system test okay. Torrance airport information India 1454 Zulu, wind 270 at 3, visibility 6, haze, few clouds at 600. Ceiling 1, 5,000 broken, temperature 212.21, altimeter 299 or 8, ILS runway 29 are right approaching you, standing and departing runway 29 or all aircraft are requested to read that cold short instructions with call sign towards our frequency 133.07. Use caution for bird activity on or notice any of the field. Use caution for work in progress, chasing to runways and taxiways. Notices to airmen, runway 29 or left, VAS is out of service, 5G notams in effect in the city of Torrance, multiple cranes in the city of Torrance. As is weather information for Southern California, available on flight service frequencies. Advisors contact, you have information, India. All right, India. Good morning, you guys. Welcome aboard. Today will be a fun one. More of an experiment to walk through along with you guys to see what happens. So as the title states, I filed an IFR flight plan from Southern California here in Torrance uh, into an MOA. Trona Airport, deep, buried deep in MOAs and right between restricted areas. Um, and so the experiment is we will see what happens as we approach the MOAs, whether or not they'll keep us on IFR or will tell us we have to cancel. So we'll go ahead and do that together and see what happens. But uh, that's the plan for today. So we have information India. We'll start taxi and we'll get taxi clearance and then we'll pick up our IFR flight plan. Here we go. Welcome. Beautiful day. Good morning, Station Air 1215 Golf East. He's ready to taxi with India. Station 1215 Golf Torrance Ground. Uh, would you like to come at 29 or left? Not necessarily, but if it helps you out, I'll take it. Uh, 15 Golf. It's up to you. Just got four in the run up tonight, right? Come at 29 right, taxi with Juliet. Yeah, you know what? There's. Uh, let's do 29 or left if possible for 15 Golf. I just saw the uh, airplanes in the run up. 15 Golf, run at 29 left, taxi via Alpha, hold in run up, advise run up complete. All right, T9 to left via Alpha, and welcome. Thanks so much. One, two, one, five, go. All right, nice guy. Fox ground, uh, Skyhawk 9344, Foxtrot, clear of T9 right and Charlie. Lots of plane in the T9 uh, to right, right run up. Uh, you guys could see here, they're all lined up. 9344, Foxtrot, Hornets ground, taxi, so we'll do transient parking, Charlie, Alpha, Echo. Transient parking via Charlie, Alpha, Echo. Alpha, Charlie, Alpha, Echo, 44, Fox. All right. Good morning, Torrance Ground, uh, Bonanza 260, Echo Alpha. We are down at Delta Lex Taxi Departure. We do with the uh... Bonanza 260, Echo Alpha, I think it was. Runway 29 right, taxi via Delta Alpha, Juliet. Delta Alpha, Juliet, and in fact, that was correct. It's 260, Echo Alpha, uh, Echo Alpha for 29er right. All right, and I have an IFR. I have an IFR flight plan to pick up. So because this is the first flight of the day in the morning, engine is cold. I'll go ahead and give it all the time to warm up while I go to pick up my IFR flight plan. So I'm changing things up just a tad because the engine's cold. and I want to give it time. So we'll go ahead and do that. And towards ground destination air one two one five golf. Looking to pick up our IFR to Lima seven two. We're ready to copy. No request IFR Lima seven two. Uh, say your uh, oh, again. Uh, uh, station air November one two one five golf. Or one two one five golf towards uh, ground clear to Lima seven two airport fly runway heading. Intercept Los Angeles one seven zero radio to Limbo, Los Angeles Victor one six five. Victor 518, Papa Mike Delta, then as files. Maintain 3000, expect 9000, 1 0 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3, walk 4604. All right, uh, November 1215, golf is clear to the Lima 72 airport on departure, fly runway heading, intercept the LAX 170 radial, limbo, LAX, Victor 165, Victor 518. Papa Mike Delta, Palmdale, then as filed. Climb maintain 3,000, expect 9,000, 1, 0, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3, squawk 4604. Dustin 4604, is that correct? And you're the one in the run up to 9 or left, is that correct? 
Uh, affirmative. <laughs> that was the first. He said Cessna four six zero four calling me my <laughs> calling me my calls my uh, beacon code. But I'm sure he's all. Uh, he had two, uh, lots of radio calls today. So here we go. We'll go ahead and uh, plug in the route first of all. So on departure runway heading, here comes two nine or four, and then LAX one seven zero. There's one one three point six. That's LAX. Here comes the course one seven zero. There we go. Now I'll do the route. First point on my flight plan that my GPS can identify and take me to is Limbo. Because my GPS is not a heading bug nor a VOR. So the first point it can identify and take me to is Limbo. So here we go. Limbo is the GPS waypoint. There we go. And that looks about right. And then he said LAX. There we go. And then from there, menu, load airway, Victor 165 to, to Victor 518. So anytime they do this, we got to check and see where these two Victor airways intersect. So Victor 165 to Victor 518 to Palmdale, then as filed. So I'll go ahead and do this. Victor 165, and then Victor 518. And then what I'll do is I'll put this right after LAX. Right there. And then Victor 518. And now we can see what that looks like. So Victor 165 intercepts Victor 518 at a waypoint called Lang. And I see right here, Lang is one of my options. So I want my on-ramp to be LAX to Victor 165, my off-ramp to be Lang, and then my on-ramp at Lang to Victor 58, or my on-ramp to Victor 518 will be Lang. Menu, load airway, 518, to Papa Mike Delta, which is Palmdale, which was my clearance. So anytime ATC gives you Victor 165 to Victor 518, it's on you to figure out where those two Victor Airways intercept. In my case, Victor 165 intercepts Victor 518 at a waypoint called Lang. The way you do that is you simply show up to four flight, most people have it, and you put Victor 165 followed by Victor 518, and you could see it connects them wherever they connect. So that's really, really, really simple, and that's what happened right now. So easy stuff. There's Palmdale, and then as filed. What I filed is Palmdale, then Victor 197, menu. There we go, to Jared. There's Jared. And then from there, direct. And destination, we'll put Lima 72. So this will be a fun one. We'll see what happens as I file and fly IFR towards an MOA. Because this airport is deep in the MOA. There we go. I'm doing my bird's eye view. First of all, zooming all the way out. And yep, it's going to Lima 72. Not to Boston, not to Seattle. And then I'm doing my in-depth. So I'm highlighting. I got runway heading and 170 LAX. And then Limbo LAX. Victor 165 to Lang, which again, which uh, where it intersects um, Victor 518, then Victor 518 to Palmdale, and then as filed, my as filed was 197 to Jared, and then direct destination. While that all checks, I'm climbing and maintaining 3,000 feet, 124.3. There we go, and 4604. Transponder code 46. Zero, four, boom. Now when I'm all done, here's what I do every time I fly IFR. When I'm done loading the system, I go back around, I look at my clearance, not what I filed, because remember, in IFR you could file and get cleared for two different things. I look at my clearance, and I point and make sure I did them. Runway heading, check. 170, check. Route, I did my double verification, that all checks. Altitude, checks. Departure frequency, checks. Beacon code 4604 checks. 
I confirmed I got everything. The amount of times I did this and caught something is unbelievable. So this is really, 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 really good practice when you're flying IFR and you're, you're uh, loading your avionics. All right, well, that's all done. Let's go to do the run-up now that the engine is nice and warmed up. Here we go, and no one's behind me. There we go. Electrical system looks good. Back to both, 120. And 100, back to both. No enunciations, electrical system still looks good. I'll go ahead and do my prop check. So here comes the prop. Manifold pressure, RPM, and oil pressure are all doing their thing. That's fantastic. And here comes the idle check. And the engine's working. Back to 1,000, lean around a little bit. All right, we'll do a takeoff briefing. I'll be conducting a normal takeoff off runway 29 or left up the, um, uh, this time, so a potential, I don't want to say error, but a potential threat, if we want to call it that, is that I'm typically used to taking off runway 29 or right. And so I'll be very cognizant of that. And if I'm always used to offsetting to the right on 29 or right, I will offset to the left. But because I'm departing IFR, I will simply fly runway heading. That being said, I'll still be very cognizant and mindful that I'm indeed not drifting um, into other planes departing 29 right because it's a nice VFR day. So um, other than that, normal takeoff from 29 left, it will be runway heading to 3,000 feet unless and or until told to do otherwise. Any, ab any abnormalities prior to rotation, I'll cut the power stop straight ahead, taxi off the runway. Anything after rotation with runway ahead of me to land back on, I'll do just that. Anything after rotation with no runway ahead of me to land back on, I will avoid any steep turns right or left, land as straight ahead as possible while pitch for best glide, declaring an emergency with tower and or departure if I'm with a departure at that point. And I will only attempt to turn back to the airport environment if I am 100% certain I can make the uh, runways and even or grass. I'll take the grass. Lots of open field here. Otherwise, everything looks, sounds, feels good, and we are good to go. So we'll get on with tower and let them know that we are in the run-up area, we're ready to go, and we're IFR. All right, and that tower here is actually 124.0. It's a different frequency for this uh, runway. And Torrance Tower, Station Air, 1215 Golf in the uh, two hour left run-up area, ready for ready to go, IFR. 1215 Golf, Torrance Tower, change my frequency, 133.07, I'm just stand by. All right, change your frequency, 1215 Golf. We're climbing via the dots to accept maintaining 5,000. Base your discretion. Then left, clear to land, base your discretion, one to land. And tower, one five golf with you on 33.7, towards there, seven. One five golf towards there, right, thanks. All right. Look at that, he wants me on the other frequency. Number five, Lima Bravo. Um, all right, so that traffic's now two miles south of your position, south east down turn, 2,200 indicated Cessna. Cancel altitude restriction and cancel all restrictions. Frequency change, Chris. Thank you, Joey. Five, Lima Bravo. I'm sure I'll get a shortcut from uh, from Lang straight to Jared. It's interesting that they have you go to Palmdale. Huh. Let me see Papa, extend that one. Extending down one through Sierra Papa. Well, I hope you guys are having traffic. Hope you guys are having a good day. About four miles south. I hope you guys are out there flying. Kitakini are eastbound. They've been going west and east south of the Torrance class delta at about that altitude, 3,100 normally. They use caution for them. Frequency changes approved. They're just outside Port Furman, turning southbound, 3,000 indicated. Look for that, King Air, because he changed the crew. Thanks, Joey. Two Sierra Charlie. Two Sierra Charlie, Roger. Three Sierra Papa, you're following traffic uh, on the base to final 800 indicated sling, right base to final reporting site. Traffic is inside. Three Sierra Papa. Two Sierra Papa, follow that traffic. Number two, running 290 left, clear for the option. They are busy. 290 left, clear for the option. Number two, following the traffic. Three Sierra Papa. Jericho Alpha is going to climb over the field uh, back to the northwest. After zero Echo Alpha, yeah, we're just uh, making that climb towards Special Flight Rule. Echo Alpha, understood. Thanks. Frequency change proof. Great flight to you, sir. Later, Bob. Talk to you later.
Who's on chart 298? Okay, here, Charlie, 298. This thing 863 Sierra Lima, Torrance Star, you're holding chart 298, correct? Yep, holding short, uh, 290 right, 3 Sierra Lima. 863 Sierra Lima, roger, right, uh, down he in the is park, busy. Clear wind, call him running, 290 right, cleared for takeoff. 290 right, cleared for takeoff, right, downwind departure, 3 Sierra Lima. He's a busy man today. Number 613 Alpha, holding short, 290 right. It's incredible right, how busy this place gets on a nice, sunny morning. Number 613 Alpha, turn start right, standby. Yeah, let me turn my tax echo contact. Actually, going to sling. Yes, sir. Once you have the text parking, the echo is frequency. Great day. Echo with you. Talk to you in a bit. See you, dude. Okay. All right. There's someone landing on 29 or left right now, and then I don't see anyone else. So we might be after them, unless he's coordinating with SoCal. And 613 Alpha Torrance uh, Tower. Traffic in the upwind is right down on departure. Sling follow them in the crosswind turn, running 200 right, clear for takeoff, right close traffic. Clear for takeoff, 29 right. Uh, we'll make that right close traffic and follow the sling, 63 Alpha. Busy Shmezu. Lawrence Tower, Skyhawk, 9344 Foxtrot, uh, Student Solo, holding short at 29 right for right close track. Student Solo. Students always ask me if they need to say student solo. 215 Golf Torrance Tower flight runway heading wind 320 at 3, running 290 left, clear for takeoff. All right, runway heading at 290 left, clear for takeoff, 215 Golf. Yeah, man, I'm next. That's what I thought. All right, fuel selector both. Cal flaps are open. Trims both set for takeoff. Prop forward flaps 10 visually verified. Lights are all on. Final is clear. And I'll get the mixture here full right there. Clear for takeoff following traffic. 290 left is clear. 3 Sierra Lima contact, so good departure. Great flight to you. Quick on departure, 3 Sierra Lima, thanks. Actually, let's do a no flap takeoff just for the heck of it. Good practice every once in a while. All right, there's center line. And we're off. Three Sierra Papa, two nine left, clear for the option. Two nine left, clear for the option. Three Sierra Papa. There's runway heading. One three alpha, running two nine right, clear for the option. All right, clear for the option. Gonna make us a full stop. One three alpha. Yeah, running two nine right, clear to land. All is good. Properly nine trimmed. Nine Flaps are already up. Power's full. We'll get the mixture where I want it. Contact. So good departure. Great flight. I departure. Have a nice day. One two one five golf. Yeah. Line nineteen forty six out of sixteen hundred. Be the third five thousand. County 260, Kirkland, County 368 Heavy, turn right heading 250. All right, mixture is where I want it. Right turn 250, County 368 Heavy. United 1946, so cut departure radar contact, climb and maintain 8,000, say altitude leaving. Out of 8,000, out of 2,100, up for 8,000, United 1946. Good, 624, so cut departure radar contact, climb and maintain 12,000, say altitude leaving. 12,000 through 1,500, just 624. County 368 Heavy, contact Los Angeles Center, 135.5, good day. All right, Los Angeles Center, 135.5, County 368 Heavy, see you bye. <laughs> yeah, departure, good morning, station air, 1215 Golf, 1500, climbing 3000. Okay, 2527, United 296, good day. Cessna 1215 Golf, so get departure, I dead, say altitude. 1600, 125 Golf. United 1946, turn left direct to PV, climb and maintain, 12000. Left track TV up to 12,000, 1946. Tessa 15 Golf, your radar contact two miles northwest of Torrance Airport, climb and maintain 5,000. 
position checks up to five. Watch what's up, Doc. There we go. She did not tell me to change my heading or do anything with my right left navigation, but she told me to climb and maintain 5,000. Because I 15 golf turn right hitting 360. Good way to climb. Right turn 360 and we'll go on 25,000. United 1946, maintain 250 knots and contact approach 134.35. Kitty. 34, 35. There we go. Limbo is no longer a viable option. LAX 170 is no longer a viable option. Here's what we do CDI back to GPS. And I could even go flight plan, highlight, clean up my mess, direct enter, enter on LAX, just to clean up all that, because I know none of, none, none of the other stuff are viable options, because she'll tell me direct LAX here in a moment. And that's it. And I'm giving her the best rate of climb that I can, which is 1,200 feet a minute or so, so that's good. Left turn, direct TV, resume departure, Alaska, 44. And there we go. All looks good. In a little bit, she'll probably say direct LAX, uh, join Victor 165. They confirm not to climb for 440. Say again? Maintain 3,000 for Alaska 440. Alaska 440, climb and maintain 12,000 now, 250 knots. 12,250, Alaska 440. Just a 15 golf turn left, direct Los Angeles, join Victor 165, resume our navigation. All right, direct LA 165 on that, 125 golf. Boom, 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 nav, and that's it. Straight line between me and LAX, join Victor 165 and no navigation. Absolutely, that's simple. As long as we know what buttons to hit and when. Oscar 440, contact approach. One, Everything three, looks four, good. Four, three, five, 34, 35, good day, Oscar 440. Everything looks good. Beautiful day out there. Absolutely fantastic. American 1880. The reason she wanted a good rate of climb to 5,000 earlier was because she's taking me over LAX, so she wants me a nice, good altitude above the airplane. So the million dollar question is well, yo, the planes are landing on LAX. Why does she need you at 5,000? Well, Especially on a sunny day when there's for sure people there. We have what's called LA Special Flight Rules, which is a VFR corridor right over the runways. And north westbound, it's 4,500. Southeastbound is 3,500. So she wants me above them all at 5,000 feet by the time I reach the area. So that's her thinking, and that's why she was asking for that good rate of climb. And this is another sort of, it fits in nicely to what I always talk about. When you become an IFR, people say, should I get my IFR? And I think one of the big reasons to get your IFR is it makes it gives your it really gives you perspective on the whole system because now as an IFR pilot I also know LA special fly rules and I have that in mind and I know what she's doing to keep me away from them. But as a VFR pilot you don't really know the IFR side of things, so a lot of things could not make sense. So that's just for not, I would say just for that alone, but getting your IFR really makes a difference in terms of. Uh, Good perspective on the system. Direct TV, maintain 250 knots. Direct TV, maintain 250 knots, fraction 9 uniform, Quebec. American 1880, maintain 12,000, approach 13435. 3435, up to 12,000, American 1880, good day. 624, LA Center 12527. Approach, Kona 243, 5,500. All right, all looks good. And departure, JetBlue 880, climbing through 1,200 for 5,000. JetBlue 880, radar kind of climbing to 1, 5,000. Up on 5,000, JetBlue 880. There we go, plan is turning, we're joining Victor 165. Zero, zero, zero. And LAX is right zero, under zero, us. Zero, zero, Kona 243. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Beautiful. United 2039, turn left, direct clipper. Left, direct clipper, United 2039. Left, direct clipper. Bar turn of MJ, take a 9 uniform, Quebec, on course to PV. You want us to maintain 3,000? He must be French. Uniform, Quebec, maintain 1, 2,000, approach 1, 3, 4, 3, 5. Maintain 1, 2,000, 1, 3, 4, 3, 5, fraction 9 uniform, Quebec. 
There we go. Everything looks good, good, good. She'll give me a frequency change here in a little bit, and then they'll climb me up higher uh, once I'm done here with LAX. As always, they keep you here at 5,000 feet or so. They don't want to climb you to your cruising altitude because right here, pretty much right here in front of me, it's a nice, famous, busy arrival or star 13, 13, 2, procedure 000, into 000. LAX. So all the airplanes coming in from the north or west come in through this star, this arrival procedure, and then do a 180 over here and land at LAX. So if they start climbing, if they climb me now to my cruise altitude, I might interact with those airplanes and that wouldn't be a good day, so. There we have it. All looks good. And we'll see together what happens as we approach the MOAs. Right over here, the whole mess, MOAs, restricted. We'll see what happens. Approaching an MOA under IFR, we'll have a look. We'll see what they tell me. Double 880, turn left, 090. Left turn 090, double 880. We'll see if they keep me IFR. We'll see if they transition me to flight following, VFR flight following. Who knows? We'll find out. 3645, 1.4, climb at 3,000. 3645, what are kind of climb maintain 7,000? Climb maintain 7,000, southwest, 3645. 13, 13, maintain 1,000, approach 34, 35. 12,000, 34, 35. Van Nuys Airport, right in front of me. And Burbank is at my 1 o'clock. 331, Six thirty one right economy maintain two five zero knots direct TV. Two five zero knots direct TV though. Three. SoCal Met five five we're Met five four, excuse me. We're off complete region twenty nine like to proceed southbound on descend at three thousand and London ninety one for region twelve. Met five four, Roger that is it's sliding a one seven zero and the VFR descent is approved. All right, at shoreline one seven zero on the heading uh descend at three thousand Met five four. Okay, Alaska 1108, uh, Oka 5 out of uh, 1800. Alaska 1108, we're going to kind of climb it to 1,000. I'm at 10, 1,000. Alaska 1108. Jet 888, direct Cahill. Cahill. Cahill, Jet 888. United 2039, LA Center 2527. 2527. Man, they are so busy today. That's absolutely crazy. And Med Flight 4, just depart uh, the shoreline heading uh, 150. And I should be clear of arrivals into LAX. Right there. So they should give me my climb here to the final top cruise altitude, but we'll see what happens. I've golf approach 124.6. 246, 125 golf. Southwest 3645, climb and make the one, have you here? Savage 151, go ahead. Savage 151, maintain 4000, turn left, hitting 320. Left heading 320, Savage 151, maintain 4000. November, is your mic echo turn right hitting 210? 210, zero, zero mic echo. Station 1215 Golf, still tell you up? I'm up, 1215 Golf. 1215 Golf, Burbank altimeter 300, 1, climb 18, 7000. 01 and up to 7000, 1215 Golf. All right, with autopilot engaged, here's how we enter into a climb to be safe. We first do the power and only then we tell the airplane to pick its nose up. So here we go. Remember 6330 kilo, contact approach 125.5. 1255. Here comes the power. Remember 51467, contact approach 125.5. And now I'm going up to 7000, flight level change, and I'm telling the plane to pick its nose up. 151, climb maintain, flight level 190. Flight level 190, jet at 151. Flight of state whiskey golf, descend maintain, VFR to 6500. 6500, English whiskey golf. And that right there ensures that if we start climbing and we get distracted and we didn't have the power in there, the plane might run out of power and stop climbing. Now, with flight level change, you have that stall protection, but it's good, good habit in autopilot to first get the power and then climb on one, three, four point and on the descent, on the descent three, four, to first four, descend and then take the power out. Rather than okay, not do that, Echo, it's a great habit. Navigation, radar service terminated, squawk 1201, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, resume my own nav. Zero mic echo. All right, there we go. We're clear of the LA, and now we are heading up to 7,000 for now.
And then my final, final cruise altitude is nine or thousand feet. There you go, thousand to go. And I'm sure they'll give me a direct. Okay, there's 151, turn right, direct flap, resume the departure. Edge 151, turn right, turn right, flap, resume the departure. Edge 151, turn right, turn right, flap, and resume the departure. You're turning right, right, flap, Edge 151. SoCal, approach Star 608 Delta Sierra, 3000, climbing 8500. 608 Delta Sierra, it's got a porch right now. I definitely need Delta Sierra. Edge 151, maintain at flight level 190. Alright, there's 7000. 125.8. Flight level 190, 125.8, Edge 151. There's 7,000. We'll see what I'll go up to nine. Nine or a thousand. Station one five Gulf turn right direct Palmdale. Resume on navigation. Climb and maintain nine or a thousand. Right direct Palmdale on nav up to nine thousand. One two one five Gulf. I'm sorry, Delta Sierra to contact five miles west to El Monte Burbank altimeter three zero zero one. Boom. Direct turn around. Our plane will turn right. There's Palmdale thirty two miles. Plane is turning right and up to nine or a thousand feet. Boom. Flight level change. Delta anyone check the nose Delta 91, scale approach, good morning, Burbank, altimeter 3001, advise information, whiskey. There we go. 3001, advise, Delta 91. Well, this is what they want to do. This is how they do it. We'll see what happens. All right, here comes the climb. Little right rudder. So right now, here we are in relation to the uh, restricted and uh, the MOA. So right now he wants me to go direct Palmdale, and then, and then from there it's Victor 197, I believe, to uh, Jared, and then from there it's into the MOA. So we'll see what they do with me, whether or not they will have me cancel IFR. Uh, we'll find out. And that's it. I, I did straight up file to Trono, which is the airport in the MOA, and I was clear to there, but we'll see what happens as I approach the MOA. We'll find uh, out. That's it, left downwind, runway 15 at or about 3,000 south 91. All right, 1,000 to go. Alpha Juliet's with you, climbing through 2000. Air 935 Alpha Juliet's got a parts rate of contact, climbing team 1 2000. 1 2000, 5 Alpha Juliet. Southwest 2496, climbing team flight level 190. Flight level 190, Southwest 2496. While we're heading there, I uh, fi figure I might as well use this. Uh, should have a few minutes here required by the time we get to Palmdale. So, an email I received recently following a video um, that I made was whether or not I do what's called ferry services or relocation uh, services. And that's where I move an airplane for an owner from one place to another. And the answer is yes, I do that. I don't only flight instruct. Many people, for instance, fly to, say, Florida for a month to go golfing. Um, and they have their airplane in wherever they live. Uh, and they don't want to fly and spend a full day flying a small plane from their home to Florida. But they would want their airplane down in Florida with them 
for the duration of their stay because they want to take their friends up and zip around in the local Florida Keys area or whatever, or maybe they're going to Alaska, whatever that might be. And so, um, yeah, definitely they call me and I move the airplane. I make sure they tell me when they want to be there and I make sure the airplane is where they want to stay, Texas, Florida, whatever it might be, for the duration of the stay. Um, and then I make sure that the plane is brought back home at the end of it. And then they airline back and forth or fly private, whatever it might be. So I do do ferry services. I do move airplanes for people. And um, if anyone needs a ferry service, rather than just answer that person on email, I figured made it, might as well, I did answer that person. But if anyone else out there is curious, I do do that. So feel free to reach out to me if you need a plane flown from point A to point B and uh, we'll get talking. We'll see what we can make happen. So there we have it. Palmdale looks like uh, nine minutes away. There we are. We'll go to power back. Temperatures look good. Cal flaps are closed. Eighty nine seventy two traffic one moving twelve o'clock at six miles north on the King Air climbing out of six thousand eight hundred. I look at the eighty nine seventy two. Eighty nine seventy two turn twenty degrees to the right, expect direct come on in three miles. Twenty degrees to the right will expect the phone eighty nine seventy two. All right, all looks good. There we go. Solid. Good stuff. Well, we'll see what they tell me here in a little bit. Here, five Alpha Juliet, turn to left, hitting three one zero. One zero five Alpha. LA 8972, traffic up back to the Cedar of Pomona. That's it, it's a level on I-8972. That was 2771, 3.2 for 4,000. Good morning. That was 2771, set up our trader contact. How many team? 1, 3,000. Good morning. 1, 3, 13,000. Watch this thing. Station air 1, 2, 1, 5, golf. Contact Josh, approach 1, 2, 4, 5, 5. Good day. All right, 24, 55, 1, 2, 1, 5, golf. Air 5, Alpha Juliet. Approach, good morning, Station Air, 1215 Golf, level 9000. Number 1215 Golf, Josh, Fred, Palm Dolo, 2004, welcome. 04, 1215 Golf, thanks. And 15 uh, Golf, understand your eye for the uh, Trona? Affirmative, 15 Golf, let's see. Roger, just be aware the restricted areas and the MOAs are active, you're going to have to cancel prior to entering. Roger that, 15 Golf. Is, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and cancel at this time uh, for 1215 Golf. Number one five golf, no problem. IFR cancellation received. Maintain VFR route and altitude will be your discretion. Um, restricted area two five one five is still active though, so you're gonna have to um, go around the west side if that's if that's, if that's what you choose. Roger that, not a problem. We'll head uh, north to Mojave and then cut up uh, on top of the uh, restricted. Thanks so much. One two one five golf. All right, and look at that. There's our answer. I'm flying IFR file to a uh, airport in an MOA, and they told me that uh, I'll have to cancel. And so and there we have it. Now you know, if you file an IFR flight to an airport in the MOA, you could do that, but as you approach it, approach it they will have you cancel your IFR, and they will transition you to VFR flight following. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that makes sense. Fun experiment. We did it. We found out. And uh, there we have it. All right, you guys. I will see you on the next video. And I will uh, turn here to the north, and um, I'll even do that right now. And I'll head direct towards Mojave. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right.